Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA Eric Bailly set to move away from Manchester United Now we're going to get into this because I think it's a very interesting news report and transfer related thing related to United, you know So we're going to get into it, lots of journalists like Demazio, Fabrizio even putting some weight to it So we're going to get into that, discuss if it happens, what will, what it will have the effects on your, us as a club And you know, so smash a like, subscribe if you, let's get into it So Eric Bailly, first of all if we allow Eric Bailly to leave at Manchester United, you know, how much does it impact United? If this is a, a centre-back who's often, or not the case, injury-prone, injured most of the season. But when he's not injured, we'd all say as a majority, Eric Bailly should be starting at centre-back. Probably with either Varane. Well, Varane is number one, right? So, so Varane will start. And then it's between a coin flip if, you'd, if United fans would pick Lindelof and Bailly. Now... It's scary to think that if we let Bayer go, then we only have three centre-backs. Maguire, Lindelof and Perrin. Now, is that really enough? Mengi's out alone, Axel is gone also. So we don't really have other centre-backs. So I wouldn't allow Bayer to leave. And like I said, this is a centre-back who, yes, is very injury-prone. So some would say, what does it matter of selling him? It's not like we have him most of the time anyways. But that's not the point. Like, the point is still, you know, to have a centre-back of the quality of Eric Bayer. And this is just Glazer-Nomics Glazer again because it's like, if we sell Eric Bailly, we're probably not going to get another centre-back of the quality or even of a better quality to improve the team to replace Eric Bailly, which is a big problem, you know. So, if Bailly leaves, I'm, well, basically what I'm saying is I think we're in a bit of trouble because then we have Varane, who, who knows what his injury record, you know, what happens if Varane gets injured, then we have Maguire Lindelof, and if one of them gets injured, so what, it's Phil Jones now? It's Phil Jones time? Which, by all means, to Phil Jones, to be fair to him, he's been putting better performances from Dan Maguire, but... This is a this is a scary thing. I personally, I don't know how you guys would feel about. It. Let me in the comments below. But I personally wouldn't let everybody leave. You know, I would give him game time. If I was United manager, or, you know, I was up high up, so I'd be like, Eric Bay, as long as he's fit, he should be playing with Varane because the evidence shows that he's probably our second best centre back with Varane. You know, and then it's Lindelof, and then it's Jones, and then it's someone like Maguire. You know, and that just shows. You know, there's some big problems. I've always said. When Victor and Maguire were playing, I was just like, you know, we need to sign two centre backs because it ain't go it's going down at the back, you know. So it's going down at the back. But um the match you're basically saying Eric Bayer has agreed to join AC Milan in the last few hours. There have been positive signs from United. Milan are making their final evaluations now. De Marzio is a very good Italian journalist, so you know, make of that what you will. It's just obviously nothing is said until it's you know, holding up the shirt and all of that, you know, with United, but never know. And then it said, um, what else was uh, um, Juventus, Rashford. I'm also checking United report for all the things, but yeah, Demacia, like I said, good, good journalist. Fabrizio is saying Eric Bailly's future will be decided soon. AC Milan are interested in him, and he's a potential new centre-back on loan. Talks open, no final decision has been made yet. Manchester United are waiting for further direct contacts with AC Milan in the coming hours or days. But then Sky are also saying that United don't want to let Bailly go out on a loan, you know. It just alone just doesn't suit United. They'd rather, you know, get some cash for him and make of it what they will after that. So, very interesting things that's happening with the Eric Bay situation. So, I'd say keep an eye on that. The fact that Demacio and Fabrizio have spoken about the transfer definitely means that, at the very least, talks are going on about what's going to happen. Now, even if we loan out Eric Bay, what what's the point of loaning out Eric Bay? Like, just to free up cash from the Glazer spending... And then making us weaker as a team overall, because then that's one of our good centre backs that we lose. I mean, there's no point in loaning out Eric Bay. I don't see the point besides lining the pocket, uh, the pockets of the Glazers. So for me, I wouldn't loan out Eric Bay if he does want to have game time. And then we do need to sell him, sell him. But personally, I still think that's a bad idea. I'd keep Eric Bay. Like I said, I think he's a bit disrespected by United, and I would keep Eric Bay. And what I would say is, if we were a proper footballing club, what would happen is we'd sell Eric Bay. And you would go get another centre back. Whether it could be someone like I don't know, top of my head, like let's just say Rudiger. Rudiger is out of contract soon. Lots of clubs want him. Wages are clearly not a problem for us. So get, go and get someone like Antonio Rudiger. What's so hard about that? I would love a player like Antonio Rudiger. If anything, it probably fits by perfectly. He'd come in. He's won trophies. First of all, he has won trophies. He's a shit house. He, Rudiger is a shit house, which you hate to play against, but you love him on your team. And. So he's like, he's almost like Bayer, you know, Bayer is also like that, very aggressive, very pacey, less injury prone. And some Chelsea fans don't really like him, but like, 
when I watch Antonio Rudiger, I like him. So just say as an example, there's many others out there. But go get someone like that if you're a serious football club. And I don't think we're serious. So if we lose Eric Bay, don't expect us to replace him. And if he goes on loan, it just says even more for Tokyo. I just, we're basically just giving a player on loan there. And if something goes down by us, it's with regards to United, if one of our centre backs injured or we have an injury crisis, it's late for us, not for anyone else. So let's see what happens. Keep an eye on it. But let me know what you think. Would you want Eric Bay to stay? Do you want to leave, want him to leave? How do you feel about if he did leave? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll check you all very soon. Goodbye.